Beloved, are you trying to use your work place to fulfill your life? You know, there are many who have discarded families, who have uh, just basically hid themselves in their work. And when work was no longer available or there, as we have seen through this pandemic, there are many who have found no reason to exist any longer. For their working to them meant everything. They were basically married to their job and use their jobs as a way of a scapegoat in order to get away from the situations that they were facing in their lives. And now at this time when literally everything stopped, they were unable to be a to survive even the relationships that was being established through their living and their surviving. And I'm saying this, dearly beloved, because the enemy is attacking many today because they have chose to make their work literally their God. And beloved, your work ought not be your God. But your God ought to be in heaven in your relationship with him. The word of God tells us that uh, in the 13th verse of the first chapter of Ecclesiastes, it says, And I gave or set my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all things that are done under heaven. This sword was travail had God given to the sons of man to be exercised therewith. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of the spirit. Or interpretation says, a grasping for the wind. That which is crooked cannot be made straight. And that which is wanting or lacking cannot be numbered. Dearly beloved, Solomon is making it very clear that you cannot uh, use your workplace as an opportunity in order to establish a sense of, uh, of meaningness or purpose for your life. Your purpose is a relationship with the Heavenly Father of Heaven. That is what creates purpose in your life. Not your job. Not the things that you do. Because ultimately, daily beloved, even though it's, it, it may be some, uh, uh, um, uh, some things that you do outside of work itself, it still will not bring you purpose for living. Purpose for living comes from a relationship. It's like when you first fall in love. You could care less about anything. Your mind was on that particular person 24-7. But you know, after you get married and after you go through the process of living and establishing daily beloved that relationship is not nowhere as it was in the very beginning uh, where you was constantly thinking about this particular individual 24 7 one who does that today still we call that person uh, 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 we say that something is wrong with that individual uh, he he is somehow uh, uh, in some fantasy world or he can become a, a, a serial uh, a serial uh, person 
uh, or someone that will do harm to someone simply because they want to control their lives. But beloved, our relationship with the Heavenly Father is renewed each and every day. So that's what makes the difference. Our work relationship is not renewed each and every day. As Solomon said, it uh, uh, there's nothing new underneath the sun. And many of us go back to the same jobs over and over again. So if we establish a relationship with the Heavenly Father, which gives us the ability not to be bored any longer, but rather to have our renewness each and every morning to come into a full relationship with the Heavenly Father. Dearly beloved, even as the Word declares in the name of Jesus Christ that this sore travail had God given to the sons of man to be exercised of their wit, to try to find a something or an ability to be able to not allow life to be a boring experiment. And the only way to do that, dearly beloved, is to know that there is nothing in this earth, including our work, that will bring fulfillment fully to us. And woe unto the person who have used their workplace to do that and now no longer is working. Beloved, they have no purpose for existence. So make not that your purpose in life, but rather a relationship with the Father. Dearly beloved, the Lord bless you and keep you this day in Jesus' name.